Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Hobby Lifestyle. This week we are taking a newbie ice fishing. This will be his second trip. We are fishing a very small pond that due to drought is about 5 feet low and at real high risk of a winter kill. We could only find about 6 foot depth of water. Unlike our normal catch, photo, and release adventures, this trip we are going to take some gills home to be released to the grease. Please join us as we welcome a new hobbyist. Here we've just arrived at the pond and are slowly setting up for the day. We've drilled multiple holes and are moving around until we can start catching a few fish. Oh, there I see one has already been caught. As we move around and catch a few more, we'll decide where we're going to set up for the day, then we'll bring our huts over and flip them over. Well, it looks like our newbie has just caught his first fish of the trip. Let's focus in and see how he does for the rest of the trip. Yep, it's a keeper. And they're all over. Oh, there's double. Oh, right up on the oh. edge of the hole. Yeah, there was nothing, 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 then all of a sudden the whole screen was just full, you know. Sweet. Yeah, all the ones I've caught were like right in the middle. She's putting on a show over there. You can catch any for here? Oh, there you got one. <laughs> uh, that one didn't go. That was a high one. There's a nice gill. That's a nice one. Keep seeing fish down at the bottom, but they're not biters. Yeah, all the ones I've caught were like right in the middle. Right in the middle? Yeah, that's where that one came in too. He actually came in just a couple feet below the ice. <laughs> About to set him right out of the water. Come on, uh, he's still right back there. There's a nice one. Nicer one. Having trouble reading the bottom? As a uh, the electronic struggle in less than 10 feet usually. <laughs> and uh, I opened the door and it was like a box. 
Ja. I might flip my head over, I'm getting cold. <laughs> Holy buckets, I just got a huge load to go through mine. Yeah, I've got a ton of them going through here. I kind of just propped my pole up on my chair and I was pulling my over and I came over and I was like, And down he goes. The lures that we use to catch the bluegills today were from left to right, a small tungsten jig, a small minnow head jig. Both of those I painted myself glow in the dark. And then we had a couple little spoons. Although the spoon bite was very difficult today. We were not excited about the spoon, they preferred the jig. And if you're gonna fish a jig that small, even if it's only in six foot of water, uh, I would definitely recommend a spring bobber. 